So how does your VW seatbelt work? So to give you an idea of how the seatbelt actually works, I'll show you. And you're going to want to watch this green piece here. When I put the seatbelt in, that's going to make contact with the black piece, pushing that in, which triggers the resistors and the wires and tells if it's plugged in. So here we go. And then when you press this, it unlatches. So if you're just sitting here pressing the latch, the green piece won't go far enough and make contact. So that just gives you a quick explanation there. So I'm going to try to recreate something right now. Uh, you see the two lights on for the seatbelt and the airbag. But I noticed it wasn't dinging when I had my seatbelt on buckled. So that's sort of how I figured this out. So because it's uh, Euro coded, it should just continue to ding. And then all I did was reach down, and I'm not pushing this, just, you can see right there, I'm just pressing the seatbelt against the seat, and it says that it's buckled up. So there's bad wiring down there too. So we're gonna have to take a look at that, and then we'll probably be able to get the airbag light off. So I didn't take the seatbelt apart yet, I'm trying to get this uh, housing apart. But if you bend it enough, you can see right there. I mean, that blue wire is pretty much broken all the way through. Okay, for the seatbelt housing part, I just started separating it at the bottom with my number three pry tool and it appears these top parts like these two little pegs did break off inside but that's nothing that's going to affect anything I mean just put a dab of glue on there like we didn't really break anything that has to be worried about so so then you're left with this uh, part here and this black piece goes around the sides of it like that so you just want to sort of gently pry apart on that black piece and then you can get that off and then you're left with this part it will have this little piece on here covering the uh, wires right where our brake is so I had to remove this little piece too and now I can give you a good shot of the wire that's broken pretty common problem so you're gonna have to slice this boot here the outer boot I sliced that and then these wires have their own little boot that I sliced down into just to expose the wire more so you can actually fix it. The hood hinge, you can I'll put a link to the video for that. 18 fault codes and 8 malfunctions based off of the wires that run up your hood hinge. And that'll give you oil pressure sensor faults, airbag faults, everything. So all the way down it's covered in this rubber coating. And then where these cables end, there's like extra wire. But you can't pull it up no matter what with that rubber coating on. I just tried. So I ended up cutting the rubber coating completely off. Sort of debating on what to do with that yellow wire. You can see it's about to break there at the same point where the blue one broke. But now there is that extra wire there because I pulled the blue one closer. Twisted it together. So now there's slack in the yellow one. But we'll probably leave that as it is for now. Unless we have another issue with it. But yeah, once we get this back together I'll show you the code that it would cause and we'll go from there. So we're here in the R32, we've got the seatbelt repaired, fixed up, hopefully. We're going to start the car now, and I'll show you the first thing that comes up is airbag fault. And then we'll run the laptop with the VCDS. You know, I'll show you what the fault code is, and we'll go from there. So, here we go. There's your airbag fault, so really no need to start it from here. So there are the fault codes found for the seatbelt switch. So after repairing the blue wire on the seatbelt, it still didn't fix the airbag problem. So we're going to track the wire down further. So here's the current code coming up for the airbag fault, 00591. So I guess instead of taking the seatbelt cable part out, you could just unclip this plastic piece like I had it earlier. But it's just better to do it this way because I wanted it to hold that in place. And so I stripped it down in a couple places to see if there were any more brakes. And then I went back up here to the top, and it was really thin on the yellow wire, but it wasn't broken through like the blue wire was completely broken. So I shaved the uh, covering off, and inside it is broken. So I think connecting that will fix the problem. So I fixed the wires, I'm just waiting for the liquid tape to dry, and then we'll try putting it back together again and see if it throws the code. And we'll see if we get an airbag fault. Nope, so far so good. Yeah. And now we don't even usually have like giant silver. 
little test to see if the seat belt works. That's right, here we have the seat belt and you see the lights on there. And the lights off. So everything's working as it should. We might clean it up, make it look a bit nicer, but you see what we're going for there. Unbuckle it, unbuckle, back in, back off, no airbag light. So this is how you fix your VW MK5 airbag fault code 00591 if you scan it. And it probably works for most golf based cars, maybe Jetta's too, I'm not sure. But pretty common problem with these seat belts. Your brakes are gonna be right here. And yeah, so we're all fixed for now. So like and subscribe for R32 modifications and weekly updates and more.